I'm back with comic reviews. I've been doing a lot of like uh, side project stuff here, and uh, I haven't really had time to really buy any comics, really. So I've been a little slacking off on the uh, comic reviews, but I have some more. So here we go. And uh, I got a decent variety here. Let me start off with let's see, uh, presidential material, Barack Obama, and the cover is by J. Scott Campbell, and. Uh, Almost looks a little G.I. Joe, isn't it? It's like Barack Obama, a real American hero! That's pretty much how it is. Now, to be fair, they also did a John McCain one, uh, also with uh, J. Scott Campbell artwork. I, out of fairness, I thought about buying both of them to review here, but uh, I sort of don't have any money, so I only could afford to buy one. Uh, that's what I got. And since I'm supporting Obama, this is the one I got. Now, to uh, be fair, I uh, took a look, and, you know, it's actually not a bad uh, mini-biography of Barack Obama. And, uh, let's see, it goes from his early childhood through uh, the primaries to uh, the, very, the last uh, scene is the uh, nomination um, in uh, Denver, his uh, speech there. And it, you know, gives uh, some embarrassing uh, footnotes in his uh, career and, you know, the high points as well. It's pretty well done. There's even, let's see, it uses uh, source material from uh, all sorts of news, a news agencies and Fox News, uh, as well as uh, conversations are uh, portrayed from uh, two of uh, Obama's books. Now, uh, I've also, I did thumb through the McCain one, and uh, they seem to uh, get pretty much uh, equal uh, time and equal quality, so both are actually pretty well done. The art's not bad. It could have been a lot worse, believe me. Uh, let's see. And uh, the writing by uh, Tom Morganet is uh, pretty good. He just pretty much strings together the work. And, uh, you know, I like it pretty well. Uh, if you are uh, interested in, in supporting Obama or you're just curious about who he is, likewise on McCain, it's not a bad place to, you know, get some uh, ideas on who he is. Uh, I think I might mail my copy to Sarah Palin since she doesn't know who Obama is. Anyway, I give this four round chips. Next! Batman, Detective Comics 849, uh, Paul Dini's and Dustin Ewan's uh, work on uh, the Hush storyline. It's called Heart of Hush. And, God, he's still a prick. This is really great work. And, uh, let's see, he uh, takes steps, further steps, into uh, his trap for Batman, and his full plan is revealed at the end of ish this issue. Actually, as, as far as supervillain revenge plots are concerned, it's actually pretty well done. Very smart writing here uh, by Paul Dini. It's also a terrific scene in the beginning with uh, Batman interrogating very, very forcefully uh, the Scarecrow right in front of Joker. Great scene. And uh, I really have no complaints. This is really terrific work. This is marked R.I.P., although it doesn't have very much to do with Grant Morrison's R.I.P. But you know what? I think this has been flowing a little bit better. I think at the end of Grant Morrison's R.I.P. story, we'll kind of get a whole idea of what he's doing, but um, it's a little herky-jerky. This is just one just fine. Uh, this is 849. Really terrific. I love this cover, too. I love this guy's work. And uh, let's see, Wonder Woman. It almost looks like uh, the presidential uh, covers as well. This is the second part of the Wonder Woman movie story, where she's invited to check out a studio's uh, planned project of a bio pick of her life, and it turns out to be a, a trap by the Queen of Fables. Pretty good story, pretty funny uh, as well, and uh, just all around good writing. And uh, the Queen of Fables turns into a dragon, uh, a la Sleeping Beauty, and you know, Wonder Woman kicks her ass. It's just terrific work. And uh, this is uh, Wonder Woman 25 by Gail Simone and Bernard Chang. Uh, now switching over to Marvel. Marvel is, uh, basically everybody's fighting the Skrulls, except for Daredevil. And there is a neat little crossover between She-Hulk and X-Factor. Uh, let's see, which I have the whole thing I'm going to review right here. It's uh, featured in X-Factor 33 and 34. Those are parts 1 and 3. And part 2 will be in She-Hulk issue 31. Let me see if I can hold this up all together. And uh, it's actually pretty good. It's all written by Peter David, so it all makes sense. No, uh, you know, chop, choppy stuff. 
Uh, essentially, She-Hulk and her uh, partner Jacinda, who is a uh, Skrull, a uh, renegade Skrull from uh, the Skrull world, trying to you know live here on Earth. They uh, get a sense that a Skrull religious leader, who is pretty important to the conspiracy, is hiding out in Detroit, and that's exactly where X Factor is. And to give it something away, well, a member of X Factor is the Skrull in disguise. A uh, pretty good story, actually. Uh, let's see. David Kusa actually takes over as the new artist on She-Hulk, and the art on uh, X Factor is done by Larry Stro Stroman. He used to do uh, X Factor with Peter David back in the 90s, and his work is a little sloppy here. Um, he does a really, actually, hideous She-Hulk. <laughs> the ugliest She-Hulk I've ever seen in my life. But overall, it's pretty good, and uh, the story overall is really good. Um, this one gets uh, four ran chips. Not bad. Anyway, that's it for now. I have a Mystery Science Theater countdown of Season 4 coming up. I'm still toying around with the last ten episodes on that, so I haven't really figured it out. And uh, that'll be it uh, for now. I have another comic review maybe coming up uh, the week after that. So uh, until then, push the button, Lindsay.